many years ago when I was involved in student radio. We had a, uh, a trip and we went to Radio 1. It shows you how to see the Radio 1 breakfast show and I'll show you how old I am. Simon Mayo was presenting it at the time. Now Simon Mayo had in that uh, studio, he had a picture up in front of him of a person. I, I can't even remember who it was. I don't know if it was his aunt or his kids or somebody, but one person. And the reason is this, a good broadcaster knows, you know, a bad radio DJ will call you folks. I'm not folks, I'm listening in a car on my own. I'm, I'm, I'm not part of a crowd, I'm just me. A good broadcaster realizes that people are listening to the radio on their own. Even if you're with a crowd of people, you're on your own between your ears. And it's the same thing. Don't write for a crowd because people do not read as part of a crowd. You know, you see things that say, some of you think this. What, some of me? <laughs> There's only one of me, thankfully. Um, and that's the thing, so, so have one person and write to that person. It makes it much more direct. Anything that you write, even from brands, you know, is generally speaking, 99% of the time, it is at the point that it is read, it is a communication from one person or a company to one person. So write it as such. If it helps you to print out a picture and have a picture at your desk and write to that person, then great. Because then you're writing, you're persuasive, you're convincing that person. Better still, if you could be really specific about who that person is. If you know who your typical customer is, how old they are, what they like, what else is competing for their attention when they read the thing that you're writing to them because the kids are running around their legs and the dog's just knocked over a bowl of cornflakes or whatever. If you have that, hold them in your mind and write to that person, you're going to be more persuasive. You don't even have to say, I know the dog has just knocked over the cornflake because that would just be really weird. <laughs> Especially if you were right, that would just be really, really odd. But just have that in mind so that you're writing to them in a way that will persuade one person and if possible, the right person. Okay, pay attention, you horrible freeloader. Since you're obviously so intent on stealing all of our copywriting wisdom, you might as well click these videos here, here, or here. For a cheat sheet on avoiding common grammar errors, Try the I in the corner. Or, if you'd like to make sure you've got everything, then try the subscribe link somewhere beneath my groin.